they contradict each other. That's what makes them special. They bring different ideas to the table, but there are some ideas that are wrong. There are some ideas that are not as impressive or ethical as other ideas. This, this notion to everybody, to everybody. Uh, I don't agree with you. Because you belong to art school Judaism. Art school Judaism, okay, is this, this world full of Baal that the only thing you know is what appears in the art school translations. And the only commentaries you know is what it appears printed in every Chumash. Okay, but that's, that's is primitive. School, I mean, what does that have to do with this, what you're saying? Because I'm, okay, I'm bringing a perspective that you never heard of. Because the only Judaism that you seem to be familiar with is mainstream Judaism, mainline Judaism. What is mainstream Judaism? It's not too complicated. I'm not saying that you're completely wrong. There are some great things that Rashi brings down, but this idea that we could never disagree with him, or that we have to in some way, I mean, show all this honor. First of all, I don't believe in Yeridat HaDorot. I don't believe because Rashi existed before that he's automatically greater. Okay, there's some things that he said that I'm actually, you know, against uh, portions of Rashi even being studied because he'll take a Pasuk and he'll translate it according to what the Medrash says, even though it contradicts the literal meaning. This is why in some cases it's better to read the Chumash, if you don't know Hebrew, from a Christian translation than a Jewish translation. Because a lot of the Jewish translations actually translate according to Midrashim of what they say the Pasuk translates. Wait, hold up. What did you just say? Repeat that sentence again. I just okay. want to hear Wait, that Wait, but that's dangerous because there are parts in... in, in did in you just say we should learn the Christian to, to the Bible opposite. to learn Judaism? Wait, that's not what I said. Regarding the Chumash... <laughs> All right, the five books of Moses, because that's what we study every day. Three times a day, we're supposed what? to read the, the weekly Parsha, twice in Hebrew, one in Aramaic. It's better. Christian translations to the Chumash are more accurate than Jewish translations. Okay. So are and you Christian Jewish translations, Jewish? I mean the Gutnik edition, the Art Scroll Stone edition, because they're so from that... They refuse to translate a Pusuk literally, and because Rashi says that it should be translated like the Agadah says, like our folklore and legend says, and not how it literally appears. That's a problem. Mm, I, I mean, actually, I mean, usually when, I, when I'm looking at Arsenal, it'll actually even say in, in the notes that, that this is the literal, but then this is the, the accepted uh, I've never seen translation. That. I've, I've never seen that distinction. I mean, they would make a distinction. I, like I see that often. So they believe in what's called Das Torah. That if Rashi said something, it can't be wrong. And this is what she's trying to articulate. But it's silly that whether it comes from a rabbi or from this young lady. Um, why is it silly? The idea that rabbis can make mistakes is silly. Everyone can make mistakes. So that's what Das Torah means. Das Torah means... So are there people that don't make mistakes ever? According to some Jews, yes. Who And who are these people? Sadiqs that don't exist yes. right now? According to the no, Tanya, that's silly. a Sadiq that's silly because, because Moshe Rabbeinu made mistakes. No, I know. Obviously, I don't believe that. But Jews believe that. I mean, the first no, no Jews the first believe that. of the Tanya teaches that Sadiqim don't sin. Okay, I mean that's what it teaches. Now, no, absolutely. it doesn't. A tzaddik, according to the Rambam, is something different. Like, you don't know Judaism well enough to critique it. I'm, I'm sorry. This idea that you, you think you are saying every okay. Listen, you are saying things that are totally just not Jewish ideas. I, I don't know why you're saying that all Jews believe that people Jews, don't make mistakes. Most Haredi Jews, I'm sorry, most Orthodox I'm or ultra Orthodox Jews believe in this notion of Das Torah and they believe in the notion of Sadiqim from a Kabbalistic perspective. Okay? No, they the don't believe that they don't make mistakes. Okay, I'm not trying to convince you of this, okay? I don't believe it, but most Jews believe it. No okay. one believes that. All right, I, fine. Yeah, yeah I, I disagree with that. I, I'm an Orthodox Jew. That's not a concept I've heard. A lot of the Bob things that you say are not in mistake. line with actual Judaism. Like things I, that you're I, saying, Jews believe this. Let's oh learn Religious the Christian Jews. Bible and translate it instead of learning from art scroll. Like, what are you saying? I said uh, that Christians could be trusted. More, more than Jews, so then more, why? Yes, we, absolutely. Why aren't we more than Christian? Jews to give you the literal translation in the vast majority of cases, and the average Orthodox Jew that has to bounce everything with with midrashim and 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 uh, what they read some in 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 some other book, right? 
This is the problem that Christians typically don't have because they have this notion of sola scriptura. Hey, I'm hey, look at this comment right here. Bro is undercover Christian. Okay. I honestly am starting to believe that too at okay. this point. I mean, if you think you're making your point by insulting me, then it's go no, ahead. I'm not trying continue. to insult you. I'm All not right. trying to insult you. The problem is there aren't too many Orthodox Jews who know Judaism on this platform. Why don't you ask Lubavitcher if the Rebbe made mistakes? Why are you so down that, yes, he did. No, he didn't ask they, for Lubavitcher. No one... Okay, the Kabbalistic notion of a tzaddik, as it appears in the Tanya, is that tzaddikim don't make mistakes. Now, is that what the Torah say? No. Is That's that what, what the... a tzaddik Ra... is. It doesn't mean that we actually think that there's people can't make mistakes. That's not Someone what a tzaddik is. Hold on, hold on. I, 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 I don't understand how that could be a concept when, when, when what we learn every day in, in Talmud, Gemara, whatever, is rabbis, the rabbis, who are, I, I would assume, are tzaddikim, de debating things. So if they're debating something, one of them has to be right, one has to be wrong. So I, I don't understand how that could possibly be a notion. I'm a rationalist, yeah, okay? I agree. but this is a notion. The notion of Das Torah and Adam Godo, a, a safer Torah high, they believe that that Godoylim have this this spirit of God over them that they call Das Torah. I mean, this is not something okay, I made so, up. so when Godoylim were, were, were debating, mm -hmm. how are they both right? So... They believe because of a statement of Elu Ve'elu Dibur Chaim, right? Mm -hmm. And that everything that a Godel says, like the young lady says, has to be harmonized, but it's never wrong. I'm just telling you what Haredim teach. I teeth. didn't say that. You said that we have to harmonize. I said there's a possibility that they can coexist as Mefarshim. I didn't say that there's Is there no always a possibility? Okay. I'm not making this up. It just seems that maybe... You don't dialogue with ultra-Orthodox Jews. That's it. I do. No, I, I don't think you do. I don't think you do. I mean, you think I'm lying about this. I've been teaching Judaism for over 18 years online. I've debated more Haredim, Muslims, and, and atheists than anybody. I'm sorry? Well, so then don't you want to talk this out with me so you can educate me? I've tried. I'm trying now. I. So why, what's the point of pointing that out? Me. I know that people make mistakes. And I and I made videos trying to disprove the Haredi position that Das Torah doesn't exist. That the reason we have books in the Talmud like Masechet Torayot, it's a book that deals with the errors of the Sanhedrin. That the that the Gedolim back then, Rabbi Kiva, Rabbi Shurban and Prakhet, they all made mistakes. Why do Siddiquim nowadays? Why do we believe as Orthodox or Haredi Jews that they don't make mistakes? This is the Haredi Kabbalistic position. It's it, only because you didn't hear about it, what well, doesn't mean I'm lying, okay?